to all my close personal friends out there. Uh, you may notice on your screen you see something that looks suspiciously like a video game. Uh, I've been working on this very hard for, I don't know, a month or two. I don't know, something like that. Uh, and instead of making videos and other things, I've just been slaving away on this project. Uh, you'll notice that if you follow my videos since I started making them, that I've made a variety of projects, each one getting um, smaller as time goes on. Now this is the smallest game project I've actually worked on yet, and I think this will be the one that I actually finish. My goal is to finish this so that I can just know, you know, uh, for myself that I've actually finished a game project and I can call myself a game developer and be proud of what I made. Uh, I might not look too impressive or be any fun or have any merit whatsoever, but I'll have made it and that's good enough for me. So let me walk you through what I did with this game. Uh, you'll notice the player character is a little barbarian wielding a sword with his horn helmet. Um, I think I'm going to call the game Barbarian Battle Quest so that it can be referred to as BBQ. So uh, you can run around, you can attack with your sword, whether you're running or not. And the controls are pretty straightforward. I drew this background all by myself. I'm going to continue to refine it as time goes on. And I can summon enemies. And the enemies are just these simple foot soldiers. I drew everything, by the way, myself here, so can't expect too much. Um, so these guys, their AI right now, basically, is they run and stab and poke you, which doesn't look too pleasant. But I'm still working on their AI. Um, if you kill these guys, they blow up into a cloud of pixels. And I'm pretty pleased about this gimmick that I came up with because it actually goes through the sprite no matter what frame it's on and it turns these guys into their individual pixels. It's scaled up to, to uh, work properly with whatever resolution so I actually drew them very small. So right now this is what I have but you know I believe this fulfills the conditions of uh, being a video game or at least an electronic simulation of one type. Um, so anyway what I want to do with this game is make it um, Kind of like how old school arcade games were, you know, where you'd have one screen and then it would just keep having a variation on that screen, kind of like uh, Galaga or Games Rampage, you know. So I'll probably just do the one background. Um, I have another type of enemy. It's a necromancer and he summons a wraith. Um, they'll be sort of like an elite boss. So I have them done and I'm going to do two more enemy types that I can think of in addition to those and just vary them and the game will just keep going level after level increasing in difficulty until you eventually win. So like I said, it might not be too impressive, but I think the most important thing for me personally is just to be able to finish a project, call myself a game developer, and start on the next one which can hopefully be more profitable and impressive than this one. So um, that's what I've done and I'm working very hard to make sure that I can actually finish this project. Uh, I hope to have a playable version sometime in the not too distant future because I like to get you know sort of people's feedback and work on the the bugs and the problems you know sooner rather than later so if you want to follow along with what I'm doing working on this I've been sharing screenshots and stuff like that uh, you can go to twitter.com slash retro Thomas and that'll, that's where I am on Twitter and I'll post links to my Google Plus and stuff like that so um, keep on following and commenting if you find this exciting or tolerable in any way and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.